Okay, Prime. Uh, hello? Hi. Uh, Prime, you welcome to the Hi. show. Thanks. You're on the line. Hi, uh, thank you for taking my call. Um, I've uh, actually talked to you, uh, Matt, a few times in your old network. We've always had pleasant conversations, so I'm excited to uh, talk to you again today. And um, Owen, I've uh, been a fan of yours for a while, especially your uh, your sultry uh, radio voice. Uh, so thank you. I so much. appreciate that. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so I had uh, one quick pushback, and then my main topic. Uh, so uh, the pushback is to what uh, something that Matt said in his uh, opening statement. Um, you on the subject of lawmakers, uh, you said that our lawyers and I disagree with that like wholeheartedly. I think that we should actually have uh, people from a plethora of backgrounds and that it actually isn't important uh, to be a lawyer to create laws. You can have people on your staff to do such a thing. Um, I think the most important thing is to have people from different walks of life. Um, and I imagine you would ag agree with that. No, I wouldn't actually at all. Um, let's say I'm Marjorie Taylor oh, okay. Greene and I'm a, I'm a blithering idiot. Um, when I have people on my staff write a law, how do I know that they've done a good job writing the law if I have don't, no expertise or understanding of the law? No, okay, so uh, that's a different thing. So uh, you talk no, about it's like, not a different, like no, it's not. Law? No, no, it's no, not. No, it's not. It's not. Don't you I, fucking I, tell me to hold on. It's not a different thing. Um, We're talking about the writing of laws, and if you have no expertise in it, how do you know whether or not they've done a good job? That was a question, not a different thing. Oh, okay. Sorry. So um, I would say that's uh, interpreting a law, right? I think uh, you and I, I think many other people, can interpret the consequences of a law. Uh, so, like, we hire experts all the time to do things that uh, we don't necessarily understand. So I think that um, yeah, there are, and, and there are plenty of people in Congress uh, who do this all the time, right? Uh, who are- uh, Are you gonna answer uh, my question? Matter expert. I'm sorry, I thought I was, but if I am not, I apologize. How does someone who um, does not have any question? understanding of the law know whether or not the people who've written the law have done it right? Um, I think it's simply by, uh, I don't think, I think most people do have an understanding of the law. I don't think it's a, a dichotomy, right? I, so I think, I think, I think that's, people don't, that's not I an think, answer to my question. And I think you're absolutely okay, wrong. I don't, don't think most people have an, I don't think most people have a good understanding of the law, which is why we have lawyers. Can you explain to me the history of the first amendment and, and how and why the, the Supreme court's made what decisions it's made? Do you think you could go toe to toe with Andrew uh, Seidel I, on understanding church state separation in the law? Yeah, I, I don't think that's necessary. Uh, for, I, well, I, can't, I disagree. So I, can't do that, so I disagree. I can't. For the same reason that I'd like my software written by people who understand how to write software, I'd like my laws written by people who understand how to write laws. And if, if Marjorie Taylor Greene has a team of lawyers in there writing shit that she doesn't understand, then she is superfluous and should not be involved. She is in the way. I, I agree with you. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I agree with you in terms of Marjorie Taylor Greene. I agree with you in terms of Herschel Walker, right? Herschel Walker is a person who I, has no understanding of, of, of Congress of anything, right? So a person like that who's incapable of interpreting the, uh, the law um, or to, uh, you know, understanding complex issues, right? Uh, I just think that this is another uh, subject matter. It doesn't necessarily require, uh, in terms of like uh, being a leader in our country, that doesn't actually require being uh, a lawyer yourself, but like okay, hiring- I know uh, what you think. You repeating you it doesn't make it any more convincing. You repeating that you don't agree with me okay. is not an argument. It is not evidence. It is you saying, oh. You don't think lawyers sh need to be involved, and I think they do. Are we are we going to do anything at all about no, that, or I, can we just I, set that fucking aside and get to your actual no, point? No, I, I, I think lawyers will be involved. But I'm um, moving on to my actual point. We're okay. So um, my actual point actually does relate to uh, your uh, Indonesian uh, topic and actually uh, Kanye West. So. Um, uh, I was shocked as well when I saw um, that Indonesian uh, law that's being uh, pushed through their parliament. Um, but 
I think something that many of the audience members might not know is that Indonesia is a uh, Muslim majority uh, country, right? Uh, okay, the, I'm going to uh, mute you. I'm going to mute popular. you. I'm going to mute you, and you're going to listen to me for a second. I don't know how many times I said it, but when I went through my discussion of this, I pointed out that it was a Muslim majority country of 87% or more multiple times. So why on earth would you think that my audience is largely unaware that Indonesia is a Muslim majority con a country when I pointed it out multiple times in my discussion on this? Why would you, why would you think that? Do you oh, think that sorry, they don't pay attention the way you didn't that. pay attention? Um, uh, no. Uh, okay, well then, so my uh, larger point is that with Indonesia, um, there was a, uh, in 1965 uh, and 1966, uh, there was a massive purge, um, uh, a communist purge, where uh, the um, uh, people, uh, the political um, Muslim majority and uh, the army uh, went through and killed about, well, estimates say up to a million individuals. Um, and, uh, like that obviously has a, a big impact on what we see today. Right. Um, and uh, they killed communists and uh, lots of people, including atheists. So when we are discussing this people on the left, um, like, I think it is important to like, um, like bring in the fact that it's a Muslim majority country, but also in a way that is like uh, sensitive, right? So I don't want to engage in Islamophobia. I have actually no interest in doing so, right? Um, but I, I feel that oftentimes we have these conversations, not you, because apparently you did mention it. I, I missed that part. Okay. Um, but I think oftentimes when we have these conversations that uh, liberals tend to uh, ignore some some of these things because uh, it might. Uh, hey, I don't think up, anybody uh, needs a lecture from you um, on what liberals ignore when you didn't pay attention to what I said. Can you get to your actual point? I don't need a history lesson on sure, what happened right? in the purges um, from 1965, which I don't think are actually relevant to the laws right now. But go ahead. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then I'll I'll relate this to uh, what I said about Kanye West. Uh, Connie West, I think, is anti-Semite, um, but uh, and I've had many public debates uh, talking about that. Right, um, what he said was clearly anti-Semitic. However, what he was trying to part of what he was trying to do, uh, and he said badly, was get to um, uh, was to uh, say that there is a group of individuals um, of an ethnic background. Uh, who might have uh, interest down the line, right? This is what people who support him have, like, gleaned from his uh, conversation. Might have interest right? in what? And uh, I, you know... Might have, uh, might have, have a interest, shared interest, I think. Right? A shared okay. interest? I'm a, sorry, a, a shared not interest um, with shared whom? Interest? A shared interest with whom? With each, with each other. With each other. With each other. So, so you're saying that Kanye is mm -hmm. uttering tautologies. Of course, there are people who have, have shared interests with each other. That's called cooperative society. And it also goes beyond, um, I'm sure you I, probably know this, it goes a little bit beyond just people who have shared interests. Kanye believes that it's like uh, people who are actually working together secretly. Like he said recently, he'd be willing to hire a Jewish person to work for him if he could look through their phone and put a camera in their living room to make sure that they're not working with the cabal. So it's not just shared interests. It is like, he thinks that there's like a puppet master at the top pulling strings and stuff, you know? I, I completely agree with you. Once again, everything that Kanye said was completely anti-Semitic, right? right. But uh, people are trying to run with what he said, right? And say that, well, there is... Um, uh, what he's trying to get at is that um, uh, the people at the uh, top left, for instance, the music industry, um, it just happens to have a uh, lot of uh, our Jewish brothers and sisters there, right? Um, and okay. saying that, well, the, uh, this ethnic group, they might have some sort of common interest um, and end up working together. Now, I think like the axis of bigotry, the most important axis of bigotry here is actually that they're white because Jews in this country tend to be uh, white individuals. And that has impacts on like what music that we see. Goodbye. Right? I no longer give a fuck what you have to say at all, Prime.
Uh, I was going to actually have Jimmy put up a poll to see how much longer we should let you drone on, um, <laughs> on, on irrelevant stuff. Um, I don't, but I'm done giving you chances. Yeah. I, I'm trying to like, uh, connect on that. I, it's it, it it's not shared interests. It's not that's not the problem. Kanye's problem is that there's a cabal that's trying to maliciously control things and sway people and move things the way that they want. It's like a, a there's malice behind it in Kanye's mind. So a little bit beyond shared interests. But anyways, yeah. Hello, I'm Jimmy Snow, Pokemon master and executive producer on the line. Would you like to support a specific show on the line or the line in general? There are special tiers on our Patreon and in our channel memberships. You can do just that. By the way, you could consider leaving a super thanks down below. You could also like, subscribe and leave a regular comment. All of these are great. Now, I'm going to get back to crushing loneliness. But while I do that, why don't you check out one of these?